Hello and welcome to this review of Old Camp American Blended Whiskey. This is a brand of whiskey owned by the band, a music group, Florida Georgia Line. The most popular one is this pecan peach flavored whiskey. This is the standard, not so well known, 80 proof, 40% alcohol blended whiskey. American blended whiskey from Old Camp. I bought this about a year ago at some store. I can't remember which one, but they had little sample bottles like this for $1.99, 100 milliliters. Now the regular standard, uh, 750 milliliters in that kind of square bottle at Walmart is $19.99, I think, $19.99. It's produced for the uh, band, bottled by Old Camp Whiskey of Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Well, it's really Midwest Grain Products of Lawrenceburg, the old Seagram's distillery. And it says, Old Camp is used under license from the trademark owner, who is, and I looked this up, Florida Georgia Line. Never had it. I can't read this garbled date. It's something from 2017. Uh, the website only talks about the pecan peach. It doesn't even, literally doesn't even mention this. And I didn't see this on any review sites. There are a few video reviews for it though, so I'm curious to see what people think about it. I'm glad I got this little bottle because I didn't want to pay $19.99 for a blended American blended whiskey. What is the blend ratio? I don't know. They don't say anywhere on the bottle. I'm assuming it's probably 80-20, but I don't know that. They usually put that on there, but anyway, it's very light, so I'm thinking it's got, it's not aged too long, probably. I mean, I haven't seen any blended whiskeys this light. It might only be aged I think something on the website though, when they were talking about the pecan peach, they were saying that the bourbon whiskeys they use in here are aged at least two years. So it's probably 80% grain neutral spirits and 20% straight bourbon. But like I said, that's a guess. I know, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they said that age at least two years. So yeah, it's golden. It's hot outside. It's golden. That's noise from the Kansas City Southern Railroad. They're doing some repairs. Nice alcohol eggs. Huh. I can't say what it looks like. Um, maybe McCormick. Loop it like that. It smells like American blended whiskey. You get that overly or overriding, I should say, the overriding grain neutral spirits, the corn distillate, cut with water, of course, to bring it down to 80 proof. It's just that grain alcohol burn nose with a little bit, uh, you know, it's like a little bit of bourbon. The, the char, the oak, charred oak, the corn, but it's pretty standard. Um, I mean, heck, if I can get Heaven Hill <laughs> blended American whiskey, that's $6.19. I don't think I'm going to go pay $19.99 for Old Camp, but I haven't tasted it yet either, have I? Yeah, it tastes like the, the rest. It's very sweet, candy-like, almost like candy corn, but not as gross as that. That's things they have at the at Halloween, but that has a lot of high fructose corn syrup in it and all that. It's like, but it's got a reminiscence of that. And of course, candy corn is not. Well, it's made with the high fructose corn syrup, and this is corn distillate. So this that crossover you see, that yellow corn grits. So. without that high fructose corn syrup bad weirdo strange dryness it doesn't have any of that there's just a very very faint char 
faint wood, lots of sugary sweetness, like yeah, you know, like sweet corn. You know, like Libby's canned sweet corn. Let's think about it along those lines. Yeah, alcohol, a little nut oil, like pecan oil, walnut oil, almond. Yeah, there's almond, vanilla, dried flowers. Okay, uh, you say, well, is it better than the Heaven Hill? I'd have to do a side-by-side. -side. I think it is a little smoother than that one. That Heaven Hill can be a little, you know, like a little jackhammer harshness on you, but um, in a blind test, taste test, can I tell them apart? I don't know. I should be able to, glad it was capped. I, fell over. I should be able to do a pretty good amount of blind taste test with this bottle. I no, probably won't be able to get through all the blended whiskeys I have, but time will tell on that. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if, I guess when you're paying $19.99 a bottle, you're buying the brand name, the band, and all of that. That's up to you, but this is going to be one of those that most people haven't tried. It's all the pecan peach. That's the one they're going to say, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not going to try that one, so I don't know. It's more typical than atypical for sure. It's like most of the blended American whiskeys. So if you see it and it's a dollar ninety nine, like I got this bottle, I mean, you know what the heck? Go ahead, buy it. I'd check it out. And it is a glass bottle. Most of these little ones here are like plastic, and they're so cheap feeling. They feel so cheap. This one doesn't feel so cheap. So it adds a little something to it. All right. Thank you for watching this video production.